Mixer, mixer, mixer. We covered so many mixers in the series. But here are the top four learnings. Number one, Coke and sugarcane juice gave the worst results. Then came tonic, ginger ale and orange juice, which fared much better. That's pretty good news. And of course, the best results came from coconut water, Bloody Mary and soda, because they had the least amount of sugar in them. But they were also the least fun. Number two, no matter what mixer I had, from plain soda to Coke, my blood sugar levels eventually fell below baseline because of the alcohol. And now I know why I land up eating so much food and so much sugar after drinking. Because it's just my body asking for some food to bring the sugar levels back to normal. It's just biology. Number three, this is an interesting one. The more sugary the drink was, say vodka coke, not only the initial spike was higher, but the fall below baseline was also more compared to others. So all the symptoms of a sugar crash were worse. A stronger food craving and if I didn't eat, a bigger headache. And number four, I felt the best when I had something to eat with my drink. Because when I had a vodka soda with peanuts, my blood sugar levels fell initially, but soon after the fall stopped and they even started rising a little. Unlike when I had a vodka soda without peanuts, where my blood sugar levels continuously fell for three hours. And that's why here my body remained calmer, it did not give me strong hunger cravings and no headache.